Hey y'all, it's me Cody. Um, welcome to the Cody Knits Podcast. This is episode 59. Wow, it has been a couple of weeks since my last podcast. I'm tired today. I have a headache. <laughs> so if I'm not the most enthusiastic, that's why. But anyway, I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. There's a lot of you. I'm up to 898 subscribers. So we're almost to the 900 mark, um, which is really cool. Thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed. Thank you to those of you who have watched for a long time. I've started talking and Diamond has decided to join me. She's been napping. Hello. Hello, you're my baby. Mm -hmm. You see my little diamond. Anyway, this is probably going to be pretty short too because I honestly have not done a whole lot of knitting. Um, I've had, like I said, it's been a long, a interesting couple of weeks. I think last time I mentioned that my brother had a car accident. I mean, a motorcycle accident. And then, um, later that week, after I started my new job, I, which I absolutely love, um, my aunt passed away, and her funeral, not the aunt that I live with, another aunt, um, she had pancreatic cancer. Um, but she passed away, and her funeral was last Saturday. Um, today is September the 4th. I believe Labor Day um, so not this weekend but the weekend prior so her funeral was then and then I um, had a sinus infection and that wasn't exactly fun uh, and then um, my mom ended up having to go to the hospital because she had a TIA and it was just been crazy uh, but um, this weekend has been really good. I, um, like I said, I'm really, really enjoying my job. Um, I bought a new car this weekend, which I'm super excited about. Um, something a little bit more reliable. I went looking at apartments, so I think I've picked out a new place I'm going to be moving to, um, this month. Um, so a lot of fun stuff going on, uh, too. A lot of stressful things, but there's a lot of good things, too. And I'm very, uh, blessed and happy to be here and, um, excited to come and say hello. So I wanted to give you a little update, you know, like what I just said, let you know what's been going on, um, kind of tell you why, um, I'm just kind of not feeling that great today, but I didn't want to go to uh, next weekend, um, without doing a podcast. Um, so my forehead is really red because I got sunburnt yesterday. Who would have thought that, um, you know, walking around outside on looking for cars that you like, uh, would cause you would, you should wear sunscreen when you go and do an activity like that. <laughs> so yeah, I got sunburnt, which is really bad. I can almost write my name. <laughs> oh, anyway. So, things are going well. Um, I just, I want to tell, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been so encouraging and supportive of me the last, uh, really year. Um, I, with my move to Wisconsin and then moving back to Georgia and then, you know, being without a job for a while and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I just really appreciate it. It's made, you guys have made it easier. You have given me distraction when I needed to not think about things. Um, and you've been there and you've sent me mail that, you know, to cheer me up and, um, it's just been, you guys have all just been so wonderful. So, anyway, just want to say thank you and I love you all and I really appreciate it. Um, so, let's talk about some knitting. I do have a finished objects. 
Yay! These are my socks. See, I have to. I actually finished these this morning. Um, and I really like them. They need to be washed. They fit really well. Um, so, I did a shorter cuff because this is the, I believe it's, is it cobblestone or, or gravel? This is the gravel pattern, I believe, by Mina Phillip from her Beyond Vanilla Sock collection. And I just couldn't memorize it, so I got tired of doing it. And I only did it on the fronts. Remember, I did these two at a time, cuffed down, um, and I used these chow goo. I would highly recommend you use a longer cable if you're going to do magic loop two at a time. This is fine if you're doing one sock at a time, but for two it really, um, my hands really having to hold on to it. And this yarn has silk or something awesome in it, and so it was really slippery. Um, but I did, uh, these are size uh, 2.25 millimeter. Um, and yeah, so they fit pretty good. Um, they're really soft. I can't, I think they're going to be perfect once I wash them and block them. So I have my other, like, um, I have some, my other, like, rainbowy, um, vanilla rainbow socks that are actually blocking on the blockers right now. So I can't show you these on the blockers, but that's pretty true to color. Isn't that neat how this little color, it kind of striped. So I really love it. We don't know what yarn this is or anything. It's just some Kirby gave to me. And I have this much left. Um, so I'll be using those for mini skein giveaways and um, such. I do have one more discharge or finished object. And it's this little bitty, itty bitty, tiny hat. It's purple. I knit this for the um, uh, Shaken Baby Syndrome Awareness um, campaign. So I'm going to be sending this. I did a little ribbing. I don't remember how many I cast on. And then just stocking it and pretty basic crown decrease. It's not the perfect, most perfect, but. Um, yeah, so there's that one, but I also casted, I've cast on another one, and I'm actually, I'm using, uh, bigger needles to see how I like the fabric. It's the same yarn, um, but these are tens. <clears throat> They're the, um, uh, carbons, and, ugh, this joint right here is getting on my nerves. I just got spoiled with my chow goose. <clears throat> I used to love these uh, um, carvings too. But this is the um, the yarn. It's Barocco. Which is a really good uh, brand. Barocco Comfort Knitting Worsted Weight. It's 50% uh, super fine nylon and 50% super fine acrylic. And it really is a very soft uh, luxurious uh, feeling yarn. It's a little bit splitty, um, but not bad for when you're just knitting a little hat. But yeah, I'm do I do the hats uh, magic loop because I can't be bothered with switching uh, to DPNs. So yeah, got that working on that. And then I the only thing else I've worked. Um, well, that's I guess we're in our workups now. The only other thing I've really worked on is um, Kirby's um, shawl. So this is a Celtic Secret or Celtic Secret, whichever one it is, um, by Josh Rikes. And I put in a lifeline here, <laughs> finally. And then I've done this little section. And I'm got, I got one more I got the final little pattern sectioning to go. I mean, it's a pretty big section, but um, it's going to take me a little bit. But it's just really great. It's going to look so good once it blocks out. Yay! 
And this is <laughs> hand spun by Kirby. It's really pretty. But this is for her. She gave it to me and said, hey, knit me something. And I wanted to knit something lacy. And that's what we came up with. Um, let me think. What else is going on? Um, oh, I wanted to show you. I did get some mail, and I had this last time, and I completely forgot to, um, show it. I think I got distracted by something, so one second. And it's mini skeins. So many pretty awesome mini skeins for my blanket. I've maybe put in one or two uh, squares in my blanket, but not enough to really show you. Hmm. Oh, so these are from Liz, and that's all I'm, I, um, I'm not going to tell you anything else, but about her, and just in case, but I just want to tell you, thank you so much for sending me the mini skeins. I really, really appreciate it. It's so wonderful, um, and so kind of you to send them. I really am enjoying knitting that, uh, blanket, and my, um, scrappy sock yarn blanket. And, um, yeah, I've just really been enjoying it, so thank you so much. Um, I have lots of mini skeins to choose from for between when I, my birthday, when you guys all sent me birthday stuff and all that. It's been great. So, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I've only been talking like 12 minutes. <laughs> Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I really have anything else to tell you. I haven't done any sewing. I haven't done any cross stitch. I've just been, it, when I get home, I'm, because I have, uh, right now I'm driving, uh, and it takes me two hours or more to come home, um, because of the traffic. And... In the mornings, it doesn't take me that long, but I have to leave by 5.45 um, to get there. And I get there a little, um, a little after 7. Um, and I don't, you know, we don't really start till 8, but um, it's worth it to, you know, leave a little bit earlier and get there early than um, sit in, there's more traffic. Um, but yeah, I really am enjoying my job. The doctor I work with is so wonderful. She loves to teach. And oh my gosh, y'all, she has sheep. So when I heard she had sheep, you know, like I freaked out. But they're not wool sheep. But she did say I could come pet them one day. So, um, that would be really fun. And she has some, uh, dogs and cats and ducks and chickens and, um, yeah, she's a really cool lady. Um, yeah, the whole team that I work with, they're really wonderful. Everyone does a great job. Um, everyone loves each other. <laughs> um, and works well together. So that goes so far, you know. Um, so it's really nice. I really feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's a good feeling. And the doctor, she gets, she's like, oh, come look at this. Or let me show you this scan. Or, you know, let me teach you about this drug. Or, so it's really cool. Um, so I'm still doing like shadowing and stuff um, for the most part. Um, eventually they'll start adding some patients to my schedule, probably in another couple of weeks, just a couple at a time to get me, um, used to doing it. 
so that's exciting. And this weekend, um, Saturday's going to, I mean, September is going to be a fun month. Or a very interesting month. Like I said, I, I got a new car. It's Labor Day, so we have good sales on cars. And they're trying to get rid of their 2017 models. So, uh, I took advantage of that. And my other car was having some issues. Um, and it uses a lot of gas. And I'm going to be commuting a bit um, when I move uh, to actual be living in Atlanta city limits. Um, it'll be like a 30 to 45 minute drive. Which um, isn't so bad when considering I've been doing two hours. <laughs> um, so that I wanted to get a car that was better on gas and stuff like that. And... Um, so that's exciting uh, for September. And then um, Georgia Fiber Festival is this weekend. Unfortunately, I can't be there the whole festival, but I am going to be there on Saturday. I believe there's a podcasters meetup, and um, I believe Kirby is planning to come with uh, me as well. So that's exciting. Um, I can't wait to go and uh, meet everyone. Sorry, uh, I can't wait to go to, and meet everyone, and yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really fun. And then the la then sometime, but after that, I'm gonna be moving into my new apartment. I haven't picked an exact date just yet. We're still working out some things, um, but I'm excited. I'm super excited. It's gonna be. It's going to cost me a lot of money to live there, but I'm really going to enjoy living there. Um, and then the last weekend of September into October 1st is um, the Fuzzy Goat Knitting Retreat that I'm going to. And um, the guys from... Uh, Sweet Tea No Shade podcast, which if you don't watch their podcast, you should really go check them out. They're really great. John and Scott. Um, they're going to be there, and their mom, Betty Ann, is going to be there. Hey. And I can't wait to meet them, and um, we got a lot of fun stuff planned. And it's just going to be so relaxing, just sitting and knitting and enjoying ourselves. So I'm really excited. Um... I have not um, cast on uh, the new yarn that I got for the exploration station. I'm probably not going to until October. So I was wondering if you guys would be interested in doing a knit along. So if either a exploration station or just a Stephen West pattern knit along. Or it could just be a shawl knit along. Um, and. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to be doing it. So, if you guys want to join me in knitting um, something. And it's, I get, you know, I'm just going to do it, keep it open until I finish knitting mine. So, it'll take me a little bit. A uh, month, two months or something like that. Um, so, if, you want, if you're interested, just let me know. And we'll do that. Um, I'll come up with a fun little prize. Um, so, yeah. That's about all I have. It's a really short Cody Knits podcast. Um, some of you are probably glad. <laughs> um, but there just wasn't a whole bunch of knitting content for me to show you. But I did get, I did do some. So I did want to come on and say hello and give you an update. And say thank you for all your support and subscribing and all the love that you guys give me. Um, yeah. So I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if this is your first time watching a pod, one of my podcasts, please know that it's usually, there's usually a lot more content than this, and they're usually closer to 45 minutes or an hour long, and there's more of actual, you know, knitting and fiber and stuff. Just been one of those times of the year where things are busy, so, um, yeah, I think that's about it for today. I hope you all are doing wonderful i hope you are it's been having we've been having some cool weather here especially in the mornings and so it makes me so excited it's almost fall um so i hope you're having wonderful weather as well 
Um, we're still sending lots of love and prayers to those of you who are in Texas um, and who are affected by Harvey and all of its rain and flooding, winds, etc. Um, so, yeah. Just wanted to let you know that we're we're thinking of you and supporting you, and uh, let us let us know if there's something we can do to help. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you all again for watching. Have a wonderful day. I keep saying that, but I do hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll probably see you in a couple of weeks. I will definitely do a um, little filming at the Georgia Fiber Festival. If I can remember, um, and so if I don't see you there, maybe I will um, be able to see you through the camera and give you a little show of what's going on. Um, anywho, talk to you later. Bye. Right? Say bye. Bye. Goodbye. Oh. This is a lazy little baby. Oh, this is a lazy boy. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs>